miss your big day, could I? But how do you even know about it? Um, Bonnie told me. <sighs> it's perfect now. It's the perfect day. <laughs> Can we give your Auntie Bonnie a hug? Please <laughs> <laughs> just tell me what he did to you. Hey, good to see you. Are you for real? I'm not in trouble. Bad news. How dare you? Guys, he's psycho. That's not how it looks from here. Just stay away from him. You better get off my family's land right now. Are you coming? We've wrecked everything. We can sort it all out. You better call the police. What's wrong? It's Christmas. You should be with Jacob. <laughs> he won't even realise we've got Please, on. go to his party. I, I, I feel like I've got a migraine coming on. Oh, no. I'll walk you home. No, I'm fine. Look, I don't want to spoil the evening. Please don't make a fuss. I, I just need an early night. OK. If you're sure. Look, this is probably bad timing, but I've been wanting to tell you all day. What? Oh, well, I think... No. No. I know. I love you. Sorry. No, don't be. I love you too. The last thing I want is any trouble. What did you do to him in prison? <laughs> Excuse me? He said you made his life hell. It was hard for everyone in there. Yeah, you're right. Uh, sorry if it's a bad time. <laughs> she was wondering where you all were. Spot on. And he must be April. Sorry about all this drama. Bit of a misunderstanding. Mark was called, by the way. Um, his car broke down, I so see. He's been towed back to London. Why don't you uh, show me and so in your room? Yeah, we could make another bracelet. <laughs> I know how this might look. And if you're telling me that Aaron's a decent bloke, then fair enough. You've not answered the question. People aren't always the same in prison. I did my best to keep my head down, but sometimes you've got to protect yourself. Aaron wasn't some sort of helpless victim. So he was a victim? That's not what I meant. That's what he said. Can we just leave this for now? Today was supposed to be a celebration. Not much of a Christmas for you, is it? I think I might have some mince pies left. Thanks, but it's uh, best not to touch anything for the time being. Of course. I don't suppose you can even have a glass of sherry. Wouldn't go down too well. So where were you all? At the wedding. Well, not really a wedding. It was more of a pre-wedding. It was a surprise for Marlon and Jesse. In the barn. You didn't hear anything, see anything? It was quite a party. Who would do something like this at Christmas? Come here, love. Try not to get upset. Usually after the presents, I'm afraid. At least I didn't get them. Do you know what is missing? Well, nothing that we can see. Was there any cash lying around? It, it'd be in that pot. <laughs> That's all that was in there. So they've not taken out? It do not make any sense. We'll start asking around. In the meantime, try not to disturb anything. Scene of crimes are on the way. Thank you. Happy Christmas. You look tired. I've really messed things up for you, haven't I? No. I'm just glad you're home. Nothing else matters. You'll find your feet soon enough. Put all this behind you, build a new life. Simple as that? Yeah. 
Because you've got me on your side. <laughs> One last hitch. Go on. I've had to put your place down from a parole address. It's either that or a hostel. Do you think I'd let that happen? And for believing in me. Sorry to disturb you, my love. Um, there's nothing wrong, is there? You must be Billy. Liv, you better stop ignoring my calls. I want you home now. Just let her enjoy the party. There's plenty of people there. And I can't see that Billy going back. He shouldn't even be here. You know, I thought... You thought what? I tried so hard to get past it, Robert. With all the counselling and telling myself over and over I'd never have to go through it again, and it was all for nothing. No, it's not. Aaron, you're strong enough to deal with anything. Yeah, you are. And you've got me, you've got Liv. God, you don't get it. We can help you. You've got no idea. So tell me. I can't. I can't. He's only just got out, so if you're going to start accusing him of anything, he's not had a chance. I understand you've all been at the wedding, but congratulations, by the way. Thanks. Party's still going on. Shame you're missing it. We've a few things to sort out. Heard there was a scuffle. Not started by him. It was nothing. Just a bit of pushing and shoving. So I don't really know why you've been called. Well, unfortunately, there was a break in at Wishing Well during the event. What? Did they take much? It's a bit early to tell, but there were a lot of damage. Did any of you see anything suspicious? And did any of you leave at any time? Oh, people were coming and going all the time. Why would I break into some random's house? He's been with me since he got back. I'm sorry we can't be of more assistance. We'll be in touch if we've got any more questions. Can we get out of here? Sure. You're both going? Yeah, I need to get him settled in at mine. There's things that we need to talk about. You don't mind, do you? No, of course not. You're coming back, though, right? In the morning. I'm sorry. Lydia said you were here. Any news on the break-in? Look, I'm sorry. I just wanted to give you a special day. Certainly memorable. I missed you last night. Not quite the start to married life I'd imagined. Bet you're glad it's not legal now, huh? No, not that. I still love you. I still want us. And most of it were great. Once I stopped throwing up and fainting. <laughs> and then Billy turned up, huh? Bit of a surprise. I really didn't want it to be like that. I know. So what now? I mean, if you want some space, I understand. It's not that. But I do need to know what happened with him and Aaron. I'll get to the bottom of it. Any sign of Olivia? Oh, she was up pretty late. Are you okay? You didn't get much sleep. Oh yeah, sorry. I just, I need you to know that I'm here for you, whenever you want to talk. I hate seeing you like this. Billy, he was evil. And they all were. What did he do? It was a gang 
of him. You know all this, anyway. Jason's lot. Billy kept himself in the background most of the time. He didn't want to get in trouble, I suppose, but... He was still part of it. He just had this way of staying under the radar. And he'd never let up. He was clever with it, though. And that's to look at you and it make you hate yourself. And now he's here. You need to tell someone. Like who? I don't know, Jesse, Marlon? Like they're gonna believe me. Especially after yesterday. Well, we'll think of something. It's a long shot, but you've got a spare key for next door. I managed to lock myself out. He was at the wedding with Aaron. You better get away from here now. I didn't know this was your place. I'm sorry. Anytime you all come up with that bright idea, it'd be good. It's bad enough that he's here at all. He's not living next door. I thought we were doing something fun. We are. I'm actually really getting into this. I mean, it's a bit like a video game, isn't it? Interactive. Waiting for the... Ooh. Quick! There, get digging! <laughs> Dad! Hi. <sighs> oh, oh. What are you lot up to? Friend has been making us dig for treasure. Did you manage to change those video games? Oh, give me a chance. <laughs> well, it, you definitely kept the receipt, didn't you? Yeah, of course you did, yeah. I'm just not sure if the buses are running. Why? Where's your card? I wouldn't start, yeah. I think the battery must be flat. Oh. Well, you could always borrow dogs. Sure he won't mind. These are so good. Sounds like you've got a fan. <laughs> I saw Aaron earlier. Don't worry, he's in one piece. You could have told me that we were neighbours. Oh, God. I completely forgot. I'm sorry. <sighs> I had so much to talk about. Was he OK? Not really. I'm going to call my probation officer. See about getting into that hostel. No, Billy, you can't. Look, if you're scared of him, then what? It's not that. It's just not fair on him. He was proper messed up in prison, taking drugs. I didn't want to get involved, which is why he's offered me. It'd be easy for both of us if I'm not on his doorstep. That is reasonable. We're a family. However complicated. But it's not going to work, them living next door to each other. There's another option. Which is? Well, we're married now. We should be living together. Yeah. I, mean, I kind of assume we would be. I know we haven't talked about it, but it seems to work OK. And April loves having you here. So how about Billy moves in too? All oh, right, um, let's see. It's fine. I don't want to cause hassle with no, you. No, you're not. You're not. You're my son, and I need you behind me. I'll be okay. Please, Marlon. He's a good lad. And he won't put a step out of the line, but right now, he needs stability, and I can only give him that if I'm there. Or I could find somewhere else. Fine. Better go and fetch your stuff. It's only the box room, don't get excited. Don't forget to call the probation officer. You need to register the new address. Oh, you could be joking me. <laughs> Thanks. I won't let you down, I swear. Why do we have to work today? It's so late. We're only here for another couple of hours. Anyway, no one's making you be here. You wanted to earn some extra cash. Did you have a good time yesterday? What do you mean? Well, I know it must be difficult being away from your mum at Christmas. It's fine, I called her. So why did you disappear from the party? I was looking for you everywhere. I went for a walk. Could you get off my case? <laughs> you are rubbish at this. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> do you want to play? I'm a bit creaky for that. A bit hungover, more like. I've 
got the perfect game for us. Come on. <laughs> Things no easier between you and Billy. Uh, you must think I'm um, being petty. Oh, I know you better than that. Mum can't see any wrong in him, but he's trouble. He's had his moments, but doesn't mean we should write him off. Still, my Eddie knows she thinks everything about him is amazing. She even got Marlon to let him move in. And you're feeling like you don't matter. Well, I just wish that she was honest and accepted that he's not Mr. Perfect. It hit her hard when Billy was sent to prison. More than she let on to you. I mean, mum's what, what's best for their kids, all their hopes and dreams to come true. That's not real life. Well, of course not. But she needs to believe it could be for both of you. She can't let herself think badly of him because that's a line that's hard to go back from. Mm. What do you think? That she's a good mum. I know for a fact that she'd never give up on either of you. Let her do her best for both of you. So you were dancing all night. That's why I'm creaky and in need of this lot. He was snoring in the corner by ten o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to a word of it. <laughs> it was a surprise to all of us, you know. Billy landing back like that. Yeah, you're loving it though, aren't you? Of course I am. I love him. Same as I love you. We just want to try and make this work as a family. Mum's right. We're in this together. Come on, Ellis. For me, if nothing else. Just don't let him mess things up for you two. We won't. I promise. That's bad. We got it. Got one of them. Only had that one. And they gave it you in that state. I know. Looks like it's been kicked around the storeroom, doesn't it? Last one in the shop. Look, you'll get the other one as soon as it's in stock, OK? Don't matter about the box, does it? As long as it works. Thanks, Dad. Thanks. It's <laughs> like the kind of treasure I'd find. <laughs> well, it's just a bit of a laugh. <laughs> I could get hooked. Right, I'll leave you to it. Bob? You know, you can always talk to me if anything's bothering you. Ooh! Now, this has got to be the stash of Roman coins. Sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, good luck. <laughs> Say bye to Billy for us. Oh, we will. <laughs> You think on what I said, eh? I am shattered. Mm, fancy snuggling up with a movie. Sounds good. Come on. You promised me I could do your makeup, remember? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, help I'm going to do lipstick and <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Hiya. Wow, you can come more often. First time I've seen him smile all day. <laughs> Don't tease him. Ah, he likes it. <laughs> How's a migraine? Oh, much better. Sorry I had to go home last night. That's all right, as long as you're OK. I'm fine. I thought I could make it up to you with a late lunch. Or me and you could go next door, have a picnic. Jakey can look after the shop. What do you think, Jacob? Pub lunch on me? Mm -hmm. Give us a chance to spend some time together. And if your dad starts misbehaving, I can always just give him the slip and go into town. <coughs> this 
going to be okay, isn't it? Do you know what? I actually think it will be. <sighs> I'm going to put this order in before I nod off. Call Billy and find out if he still insists on putting pineapple on pizza. You know that's a deal breaker, right? <laughs> <laughs> back in Emmerdale tomorrow night at 7. Still to come tonight, we're on the cobbles next and Tim and Sophie are looking for justice. Then my favourite Bond is back and he's out for revenge. Daniel Craig returns in Quantum of Solace at 8.